Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jamie Lynn. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am going to be talking about my COVID positive experience. I am on day 14 of COVID-19. I received a positive test on Friday, January 29th. So I'm going to take you guys through my day by day symptoms and that's going to include the symptoms that led up to and preceded my positive test. So I'm going to got backtrack two days before I got my positive and let you guys know what I was feeling. That way if you guys are experiencing symptoms and you're wondering like, should I get tested? What's going on? Is it allergies? Is it something else? I'm going to kind of let you know what I was feeling and the things that I was going through that led up to that positive test. Um, first things first, my name is Jamie Lynn and I'm so grateful that you guys are here right now. If you guys are interested in content revolving around having like a happy family life and kind of like mom lifestyle and new products that I'm trying and like cool things that I do with my family, this is the place for you. I would love to have you on my channel. Please subscribe. It would just make my day to have you in our like really awesome parent badass community. So please go ahead, like this video. Um, if these tips and this information is helpful to you, just to let you all know, little disclaimer, I am not a medical professional and I did seek medical help throughout my experience with COVID-19. I did follow regulations. I do wear a mask. First things first, like I said, I tested positive on Friday, January 29th, um, first thing in the morning. And I'm gonna let you guys know like what happened before that. Another thing that I want you guys to know is that my entire family tested positive. So even my babies, my son Chase who is two and my daughter Kalina who is one tested positive as did my stepson who is 16 and my husband Brandon who is a heart patient. He had open heart surgery not even six months ago. So it was really um, concerning that we've gone through all of this but um, on day 14, we're feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna let you guys know like how we dealt with everything and what all we had. So day one, obviously you guys already know what's Friday. So I'm actually gonna backtrack two days before that and I'm gonna go to Wednesday. Wednesday, January 27th, I couldn't shake this like sinus headache. Now, I personally don't ever get sinus headaches, but I haven't lived in the South for an extended period of time, like a, a large chunk of my life. So I thought maybe this is just a new reaction that I'm having, um, but I had a headache. It was literally like in my face, like a star, like my eyes, my nose, into my cheeks. It felt like someone punched me like right in the face and it was obnoxious and I hated it. I hated dealing with it. I'm totally weedy when I get headaches because I never have headaches. Um, I did try to drink a little bit of caffeine it's just to make sure it wasn't some kind of like caffeine withdrawal, but I haven't really been doing a ton of caffeine, honestly. So I was just really, really annoyed. And so I actually went to the receptionist at the place where I work and I actually asked her for some sinus medicine and she actually gave me some and that's, I needed it to get through the day. And I'm also like somebody that really just doesn't take medicine if I don't really need it. So that was kind of alarming to me or I was like, why the hell am I dealing with this? So next day, Thursday, same thing, another sinus headache, like literally, like right in my face, in my face, nowhere else, not the rest of my head, nothing. It was like right in my face and it was so obnoxious. And I was like, what the heck? Like what's going on and why is this happening? I didn't think twice about it. Another thing that I do have to tell you guys is I need to backtrack a little bit uh, Wednesday evening, our son Chase, who is two, developed a fever. We were all laying in bed. This was like very end of the day. We all, we co-sleep. We were laying in bed and Brandon, my husband, kept telling me like, Chase is super hot. And he didn't drink his, usually he drinks like, um, he has like a sippy cup of like juice or almond milk that he has to kind of like comfort himself right before bed. So usually he drinks that. He passed right out, he didn't drink anything, and he definitely had a fever. We tried to get his temperature, but um, the thermometer that we had at the time, it just wasn't working properly. Um, but he definitely was burning up, and he slept like start to finish, like through the night, like didn't even wink an eye, and then woke up the next day and was completely fine. So I just kind of shook it up to be like one of those like toddler fever things, and I didn't really understand what was going on. 
And since there was like nothing else that was going on, he was still eating and drinking and doing everything regularly, especially during the day. I just didn't think twice about it, honestly. But then the next night, Thursday, the day that I'm on day two of my sinus headache, I get home from work and I pick up Kalina, my one-year-old daughter, and um, she's kind of cranky. And I pick her up to breastfeed her and I notice she has a fever. She's hot and she's burning up. So I'm like, that's just really odd. Like I don't really, you know, I know that she's had a fever the night before and now Kalina has one. Um, so we ended up going to bed early that night. I was wrapping stuff up. I was actually, I think I was working on probably a YouTube video or doing, oh, I was talking to my sisters. I was FaceTiming with my sisters and I was here in the office. And while I did that, Chase actually went and laid down on our bed by himself and fell asleep by himself, which is also extremely unusual. He still was slightly warm, but not like he was um, the night before. So that was, now the next night, you know, Thursday night with Chase sleeping on, in the room and still like being a little under the weather and Kalina being sick I was starting to get a little bit concerned so then we all went and lay down in the bed together and then it hit Brandon he just was shivering really really bad he was bundling with blankets he bumped the thermostat up and he was like I don't feel good and at that time I started to get that same like run down like that like that onset of flu feeling and by 1.30 in the morning, um, Kalina had a horrible night. She was crying throughout the night. She was burning up. We had to get up on several occasions and get her baby like acetaminophen just to bring her fevers down. Um, and we were all feeling like shit and I just knew. And I was literally in the middle of the night like Googling where um, I can get a COVID rapid test the next day. And I was basically like plotting first thing in the morning to get us all up and get us into the um, place to get a testing because there was no way I was going to feel comfortable going to work. So that morning, Friday the 29th, we got to the the testing facility, um, they opened at 8 a.m. We got there slightly after it. It was really hard to get everybody up and out of bed because everybody felt like crap. Um, luckily, it was a drive through rapid test, which was amazing. Um, they tested Brandon and I, and I, I didn't even finish signing my name on the paper um, on this form, and my test already came back positive, and then Brandon's tested positive right after that, and then the kids um, also, are COVID positive as well. So that whew, was a big moment. It was a moment that I felt like I knew was coming for a long time. But anyway, so we immediately go back home. Thank heavens, I, we had just did a really large grocery shopping trip the day before. And I've been utilizing a lot of like Whole Foods deliveries and Walmart deliveries to my house for groceries and stuff. So I think I scheduled another delivery for just like some simple things like water. And then I also got like a ton of vitamins that people suggested to me. We did like a very strict regimen and I ordered all these from Whole Foods. I had a woman's multivitamin. I had a vitamin C. I had zinc and copper. I had magnesium. I had B12 and then we got liquid uh, vitamin D drops as well. Oh, and elderberry. We got elderberry chews. Am I missing anything? <laughs> um, we also had like other things like packets of emergency. Um, we also had ordered from Whole Foods these like little juice shots and then I also do make my own. I am an avid juicer. I have a juicer at home that I create my own juices. So I ordered lots of fresh fruits and veggies to make juices and you know, soups and stuff like that. So um, hydration was key. I had heard about that um, coming into this. So that was definitely something that like I went way overboard. So day one, positive symptoms. Here we go. Um, fever and chills um, and body aches and like probably the worst that I've ever felt them like it felt like I had the flu and strep throat at the same time um, at the same time I had a sore throat I had the dry cough I had massive terrible fatigue also I had uh, the headache still my head just was hurting like my head hurt almost worse than anything this headache was terrible really terrible and it wasn't just like in the face it wasn't just the sinus areas it was still in that area but it was like my whole head this time um just hurt everything in my body hurt like literally everything hurt it was awful 
the next day, um, day two for being positive, um, pretty much the same thing, just extreme, extreme like flu, it felt like flu and a strep throat. So same thing, fever, still chills, body aches, sore throat, dry cough, massive fatigue, terrible headache. It's really, really important. The thing that I noticed was like just getting myself up and out of bed every day. That was the hardest thing. Getting myself up and out of bed. I knew if I could make it into the kitchen, pour myself a glass of water and start my vitamin regimen right then and there, within an hour, I would start to feel better. Oh, there was something else. I also had Theraflu. So I would take like, after I did my vitamin regimen on the worst days, um, I'd like lay, I'd have to like lay on the couch for like an hour just just to be able to like change the kids diapers. That's how run down I felt. And then I would go and take some Theraflu. Now, thank God for the most part, the kids didn't have any other issues. Like after that, after we tested positive, they just would maybe occasionally run fevers during the evening, but that was it. Um, other than that, they were really, really normal. They ate normal. Um, the only other thing is that they have had like I've been calling it COVID belly, but they've had just like really messy, terrible diapers, kind of like the diarrhea. Not quite diarrhea, but very messy, muddy diapers um, this whole time, honestly. All right, so day three, Sunday, um, all the symptoms got milder. Um, I wasn't really running fevers anymore. Uh, the headache was still there and very obnoxious and persistent but the body aches and the chills um, were more manageable they weren't they were still there they were still present but they were milder I was able to control them more a um, new symptom though was extreme dizziness like really bad dizziness um, another thing that happened on day three was that I actually got mastitis which is something that breastfeeding mothers can get. It's like a breast infection. Um, part of it might be because I was like hydrating so much because I know how important it was. And you know, maybe Kalina wasn't eating as much, but I got like a massive like um, infected duct, like kind of like right here on the side and it was like bulged out. You could physically see it. It was hot to the touch, um, which also brings on like body aches and chills. And I had mentioned it on Facebook and two other girls actually inboxed me that during having their time having COVID, they also got a bout of mastitis, which I thought was very interesting. It was very peculiar. So I'm not really sure um, why that is. I didn't really look into it that much, um, but that was just a symptom that I had. It could have been something completely different. It could have been somehow related. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there because it's something that happened to me. Day four, um, it was a Monday and things finally started to, <sighs> I started to be a little bit more functional. Again, it was still taking me about an hour after I took my vitamin regimen and drinking and the Theraflu and everything all morning just to get up and out of bed. I was able to go to my work and have someone um, bring my laptop and stuff so that I was gonna be able to work from home. So I did do a few hours working from home. The fatigue was still present. Um, body aches and chills were still present. Again, they were milder just like the day before. The headache, that god dang headache was still there. Still had a sore throat. Um, even now, I still have the sore throat. Um, the cough really started to increase. Like day four, I think, is when the coughing really started to pick up and um, hasn't really let up at all. Stupid cough. So I got my um, computer and I was able to, I think I put in about four hours of like really light work that day. I do IT, so I was able to just um, help. We actually had a, a big project that happened on Monday, so I was able to help with a little bit of that, thank goodness. Um, so I did get some hours in at work, because um, you know, otherwise I don't know that I'm even, I'm probably not getting paid for any of the time that I missed, but we'll see how that works out. Um, so that was day four. Um, day five, Tuesday, um, I mean, a lot like Monday, except I think Tuesday was the day where it hit like mid-morning and it was like the kids' nap time and I was just so run down. So I still had the headache, I had the cough, 
the fatigue though on this day was so bad. So I actually took, I'm not kidding you guys, I took like a two hour nap and I'm not a napper at all, but I lay down in the bed with Chase and um, Chase and I fell asleep and I think Brandon brought Kalina in to me and she was sleepy and we all just slept in the bed for like two hours, maybe even a little bit more. I just needed that rest so bad. So I still was continuing with like my vitamin regimen that I do every day, trying to drink lots of waters, um, drinking some juice and just trying overall to stay, you know, like as healthy and everything as possible, um, making a lot of smoothies, fresh blueberry smoothies, um, tons of people. I would like kind of give some updates on Facebook and I had tons of people inbox me like tons of suggestions and like things that they did. And it was like honestly really great and interesting and helpful information. So I was super grateful for that. Day six, Wednesday, um, starting to kind of feel, I would say I was probably feeling like 70% myself at this point. Um, I was able to do a lot of normal things. I would get winded or fatigue quicker. Um, I do have exercise induced asthma. I don't know um, how closely that is related to like actual asthma. Um, but I do have asthma attacks and have issues breathing if I'm doing something like really physical, especially if like weather conditions present themselves. So I'm not sure how much of that could have affected a lot of the experiences that I've been having like with the coughing and chest. Um, my symptoms did vary from Brandon's. I should also like, and if you guys are interested, make a follow up video, but all of us that had COVID, actually all of us had different symptoms. He had symptoms that I didn't have and I had symptoms that he didn't have and it was very, very odd. So yeah, day six, headache was finally milder and if not like almost gone. I didn't really, I wasn't taking pain medicine anymore by, by Wednesday at all. Um, I was still doing my vitamin regimen. Um, I wasn't able to do like a ton of productive things, but I was able to do like a lot of things. I was able to do some light cooking and taking care of the kids was just a lot easier and thank god because i really needed things to get a little bit easier thursday day seven you know just super mild everything's been kind of the same probably since like last thursday um that was a week ago today now that was day seven today i'm on day 14. um still a lot of the fatigue was there the fatigue really didn't start to let up until gosh probably day 12. um but i'll get to that so day seven, um, the fatigue was still there. Um, the headache again was just really, really mild and I didn't really have to do anything for it. Uh, sore throat still, the coughing was still um, there and I hadn't really gotten rid of that yet. So then day eight on Friday, pretty much the same again. Like um, the headache was probably pretty much gone by day eight, thank God. Uh, just the fatigue was definitely still there. I was still just very run down overall. Just not feeling myself, you know. It's like I kind of felt better, like I could do things around the house, but the idea of like going outside and going for a run was just like out of the question. Like just not possible, not something that I was going to be able to do at all. Um, day nine, Saturday, um, feeling tired still, but not terrible. Um, you know, we were able to like cook some meals and stuff at our house and that was, you know, that was good. I think we did a lot of like good cooking and everything and we really ate some good healthy meals and we were really trying to be like health conscious, which was really, really smart. Um, but I think Saturday we did a lot of cooking. I think I even made cookies, like, you know, just like little stuff like that. Um, you know, I was just trying to be more myself. Um, day 10, Sunday. Still, you know, not able to like go for a run or anything, but I was doing things around the house. We cleaned up finally, like we started cleaning things a little bit and just trying to be more ourselves. We, you know, we left the house and went for like, just like a little walk outside. We played in the yard, our backyard, a ton while we were sick. Cause you know, we wanted to go outside and get some of that vitamin D in our systems and just get some fresh air. Um, the temperatures were a little bit cooler. So it was really nice to go out and we had hoodies on. Uh, there were some rainy days, it's raining today even. And so we were just kind of trying to like enjoy our home and our space and just try to feel more ourselves. Um, which was really positive experience. 
back to Monday, day 11. Uh, this was the first day that I think I actually committed to working a full work day from home. I didn't have to stop and take a nap and I didn't feel too terrible. I didn't feel too run down. Still just doing my regular vitamin regimen, no other medicine or anything. Um, the coughing really started to be like persistent and annoying and almost concerning. So then Tuesday, day 12 was a day where I actually called the doctor and I was like, you know what, I have to go to a doctor. Cause so I was starting to think like, you know, day 14 is Thursday. So day 15, Friday, I'm supposed to go back to work, you know? So I really need to make something else happen here. Like I, I really need a little bit of help. Um, you know, because I do do IT, I do go to people's workstations and I sit down and I physically type at their computer and I'm like, oh gosh, like I don't want to feel bad. I was still feeling pretty run down and I just felt like I just couldn't get over it. You know what I mean? Like I just was feeling like crap and the cough was so bad. My whole chest hurt, um, my lungs hurt taking deep breaths could make me feel faint or lightheaded and I was you know really really struggling with that so we're still like drinking tons of water pushing tons of fluids we actually started a juice feast which meant that we were juicing we we're aiming to juice and consume a gallon of juice a day this is fresh homemade the best you can get from organic fruits and vegetables uh, so we were like trying to be like super healthy and really push our fluids and make sure that we were getting the nutrients that we needed. Um, so Tuesday, I didn't get a call back from the doctor. So Wednesday morning I woke up and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go there. It's, you know, it's day 13, you know, um, hopefully, you know, they say that you're most contagious the first seven days. Hopefully I can go to a doctor, explain to them the situation and just maybe get some meds to just get me through the day when I do have to return to work. So I go in Wednesday morning, um, pretty much just feeling fatigue uh, still that day. The cough was just so persistent and it just left me with this constant run down feeling, like a very bad cold. So no longer like I feel like I have the flu, but just like I just have this really draining cold. So I go into the doctor like first thing in the morning and I didn't eat, I didn't have any juice, I didn't have any coffee, I didn't have anything that morning. I didn't even take my water. Like I literally like woke up and I was like, I'm getting my ass to the doctor and I'm getting myself over this crap. That was like all that I cared about. Um, so I go and talk to the doctor and he was super, super personable and really, really nice. And he's just telling me like, hey, you know, um, I had this in December. I'm still at a place where I'm getting over it. The cough just lingers. It's just something that happens. He was like, but I can help you out. I can give you a steroid shot for your lungs and help you get over this cough. And then I'll prescribe you some medicine. So I was like, that sounds great. Like as long as you can give me like a doctor's note and um, you know, the summary of our visit and I can go back to work to on Friday and just you know, get home with my life. So the nurse came in and she gave me um, a steroid shot and uh, I think it was just a very bad reaction of me not eating anything that morning and not drinking anything that morning, but I actually fainted from the shot. So that was day um, 13. So Wednesday, I pretty much, I had to get a ride home. I felt like crap for the rest of the day. Um, I fainted and unfortunately I was unconscious for I think too long. Um, I didn't fall to the floor so I was kind of fell, fell backwards in a seating position. Um, so they actually had to like, I don't want to say revive me, I didn't die. I felt like I died. It was really awful. But anyway, I, it was a terrible <laughs> experience unfortunately. So any of the way that I felt yesterday, um, it wasn't really COVID related. It was definitely related to fainting. But you know, part of it is, you know, I had been sick for so long and I just hadn't been myself and hadn't been feeling myself. So I think, you know, maybe that had a lot to do with, you know, why I fainted at the doctors yesterday. So anyway, today, day 14, um, 
feeling immensely better. I still have the cough. Like honestly, like right now, like I want, there's like a cough build up in my chest. I'm just trying not to cough on camera, but <clears throat> my voice is um, almost back to normal. I had been like losing my voice and you know, my voice wasn't sounding the way it normally does and it was hard to talk, um, but I am feeling so much better. Um, a lot of the fatigue has finally receded. I do have a coughing syrup to take at night, so I'll probably take that here in a few hours, and then tomorrow I will be getting up and going into work. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, getting into a normal routine, tomorrow will be day 15, um, that I will feel okay. You know, um, I like to go outside and walk around on my breaks. I do come home for lunch and I will make a fresh juice tomorrow when I come home for lunch. And then, you know, maybe we'll have like a healthy dinner. Maybe we'll juice for dinner as well. It depends on how we're, we're feeling. Um, but as far as my entire COVID experience has gone, um, I cannot stress enough how helpful it is to be pushing fluids, eating very healthy smoothies, juices, um, whole foods, like whole grains, um, really nutrient dense things, and then taking that regimen of vitamins, which again, and I can link everything in the description below guys. Um, I take a women's multivitamin, I take zinc and copper, vitamin B12, vitamin C, vitamin D, and elderberry gummies I think that's it <laughs> I don't know so guys I hope that this video was helpful to you um, if you guys if you guys are feeling some symptoms and you questioning anything at all go get tested it's just the best way to know just be safe um, wash your hands a ton drink push those fluids hydrate yourself eat healthy be happy you got this um take care of yourselves if you guys are sick i hope that you feel better um really soon when i got sick i watched a couple of youtube videos about people relaying their experiences and i did find that to be helpful so i hope that this video helps you as well thank you guys so much for watching always so grateful to have you here take care and bye thank you